Hey guys, welcome back. And in this lesson, I will show you how you can get more details about the test case execution in case you need more information for debugging and analysis. So currently our framework configured to attach request details and response details directly into the report. But sometimes it is not enough. Sometimes still something just does not work as expected. Your test failing, uh, the API request does not go through and you don't really understand why. In this case, you may need more details to analyze what's actually went wrong. Maybe some header is missing or something coming back in the response from the previous request and you're missing that header and stuff like that. So uh, Playwright has a feature called trace and trace collect all the information about what happened during the networking interaction of the framework. And let me show you how to get this trace. So going back to the framework, and first of all, we need to enable the trace. Uh, navigate to playwrightconfig.ts and here in the use block, we need to add a property called trace, this guy. And this trace has uh, several configuration options. So by default, it's just off, it's not activated. You can set it as on, in this case, trace will be attached to every report but maybe it's a little bit too much you don't need it because it will make your report final report bigger and uh, taking more size um, one of the options that you can choose is retain on failure this one it will save the trace only when the test fails otherwise it will not save the trace and will not attach to the reporter so i set this value and that's it going back to our test and now let me fail the test for example i put some weird assertion that should fail and let me run this test and see what's going to happen i run the test and test expectedly fails. Now let's open the report, playwright report. Look, we have a new folder over here with trace. So this trace will be attached to the reporter and I open it in the default browser. Here's the Chrome browser opening the test. This is the normal details that are automatically attached about the request and response details. And if you scroll all the way down, here we go. You have a trace over here. Click on the trace and now you have this uh, little bit overloaded view. So first of all, this trace primarily designed for UI automation. So that's why you see here is a blank page of the browser. We don't care about it. What we are looking for, we navigate over here to the network tab, click right here. And the network tag collects all the information, all the API requests that happened during the test. And these are two API requests that our test was actually performed. So first is login to uh, get the access token. And the second is tags that were actually failing. And look, here you can have all the details. You have all the details about the request. Request details, URL, method, and status code. Request headers, and look, user agent. This is what actually uh, Playwright sent to the API um, in under the hood. It said that, hey, the user agent is Playwright 152. It's accept header like this. Encoding was used, this one. Sometimes your API may require some special encoding and uh, maybe the reason why your request didn't work because you didn't use the right encoding. This can be a clue and authorization token and the duration. Also response header, look at this. So these are response headers that came back after our request. Sometimes this information also can be useful for analysis to process the next API request, for example. Sometimes in the response headers can be some IDs or some other hidden information that might be important for the successful API request and the actual body right here. So this is just a JSON body that is coming back that you can also take a look at. And one more thing, there is an option to copy the details about this request to reproduce this step one more time. And here, here is a drop down: copy as CURL, copy as fetch or copy as a playwright. So if I, for example, copy as a playwright and go back to the code and paste it right here, Look, so uh, Playwright automatically generated for us the exact code that was executed in kind of in Playwright format. You see it using default page fixture, request, get, all headers that were used and you can try to trigger this type of the request if something doesn't work. And the second uh, option, the simpler one, 
is copy a C URL. So it will be copied just as a, a C URL executable in any terminal. So I copy and paste it right here, all the details and just hit enter. Look, an API request was performed and this is the list of the tags. So some of the useful tricks for the API test debugging in case you will need that. All right, I hope this was helpful. This is how you can get more information about API execution for the debugging purposes and see you in the next lesson.